Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host tonight, Danny Bone. Good evening and welcome to the Fame Game. Tonight's show comes to you from Windsor, Ontario, and I'm your host, Danny Bonk. Each week on the Fame Game, four bands are judged on a scale of 1 to 10 under the following categories. Potential for television, presentation, and choice of material. Our three judges tonight, uh, the men with the bulletproof vests, are Dick Bosey, Charlie O'Brien, and Jerry Wallacechuk. Our very first band on the Fame Game tonight got their name from one of the rival gangs in West Side Story. Tonight, the Jets. guest adjudicator tonight has done almost everything in the music business. He's been a bass player, a songwriter, a publisher, and currently he's working in promotion with A&M Records. Dick Bosey. Well, Dick, uh, let's have the verdict. All right, I, uh, I really enjoyed the group. I gave them uh, an eight for stage presentation. I thought the choice of material suited the band, and I gave them an eight there. And the potential for television, although it's not my media, I thought that they uh, looked pretty good on the box, so I gave them an eight. Thank you, Nick. Our next judge is Charlie O'Brien, a disc jockey from CKLW Radio here in Windsor. Charlie? Hi, Charlie. Well, I like the band too. I thought uh, they moved well on stage. They were confident. Uh, they looked like they belonged there. Um, the material, I liked the song, the arrangement was good, although I thought they might have picked something a little stronger for them. Uh, and I, how do they look on TV? They were bright, they were energetic, I think they look good. For stage presentation, I gave them an 8. Uh, for material, a 7. 
Uh, as I said, I thought they could have picked something a bit stronger for them. And maybe uh, for TV, they look good. I like them. They were, I gave them an eight. Thank you, Charlie. Our last guest judge is the publisher of Windsor This Month Monthly Magazine, Jerry Wallacechuk. I thought that the, the group was very good. I, uh, stage presentation overall, I thought that the presence was good. Uh, they looked like they were enjoying themselves, and I gave them an eight for that. For choice and suitability of uh, the material, fly to the night, I guess, is obvious for the Jets, and I gave them an eight for that as well. And potential for TV, they played up to the audience, they looked good to me, and I gave them an eight for that as well. Thank you very much, judges. We'll be right back with more of the Fame Game. established Windsor band featuring the incredible guitar talents of Joe Conus. Here they are, The Punch. This time, let's start the judging out with Charlie O'Brien. Charlie? I liked them a lot. They were powerful on stage. They came across very well. I thought they were very appealing. Uh, they moved very well. Uh, as far as the material, they picked a good one. I think uh, the up-tempo stuff is what they do best. Let's face it, they're not going to be doing ballads. So uh, it was really for them. Uh, on TV, sure, they're very good. I give them nines all across. Stage presentation, nine. Choice of material, a nine. And uh, suitability for TV, got to give them a nine. They look good. Thank right. you, Charlie. Our next judge, Jerry Wallachuk. 
Well, I think the punch certainly, they've got punch, no doubt about that. They move well on stage, and for stage presentation, I gave them an overall nine for that. And choice and suitability of material, uh, I thought they picked the material very wisely. Their singer, she's very good, and she had a good part in that, as well as a choice for the guitar, and we, Joe Konas, have been around the area for a long time, and I gave them an eight for choice. And potential for TV, I think they're very interesting, a very group, and they've got great potential. I gave them an eight for that. Thank you, Jerry. And now, last but not least, uh, Dick Bosey. Yes, Dick? Sir. Thank you. I think that the, uh, the stage presentation and the band looks like it's been together for a while. I gave him a nine for stage presentation. I uh, thought the material was great. I gave him a nine. And as far as potential for television, I gave him an eight. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, judges. Definitely high scores for the punch. Our next act on the fame game has been around Windsor for a long time. As a matter of fact, they were here before the city got its charter. But I still like them. Here they are, Meadows. Meadows. This time, let's start the judging with Jerry Wallachuk. Jerry, what have you got for us? Danny, it's getting harder all the time. Uh, but overall, the stage presentation, I'd say that uh, I've certainly seen bands that were more colorful in, in their outfits, but the Meadows have a real live type of presentation on stage, and I think it's very effective, and I gave them a nine for that. I think the, the choice of material, again, was, was good, and uh, the group came alive to me, and I gave them a nine for that as well. And potential for television it's look good enough for me to be a magazine layout, so why not give them a nine for television? Very good. Thank you, Jerry. 
And next, Dick Bosey. Well, I was impressed by the uh, professional and the confidence and the dynamics of the band. And uh, for stage presentation, I gave him a nine. I don't think we're going to hear any better uh, sound of, of vocals and choice of material, so I gave him a 10. Ah. And uh, as far as potential for television, I gave him a 9. Thank you, Dick Bosey. Not bad so far. And our last judge, Charlie O'Brien. Well, Danny, I liked them a lot. They were uh, looking good on stage. Even though they were kind of tied down to their mics, uh, they couldn't move around. That, I don't think, uh, hurt them at all. Um, they had good presence on, on stage. The material... Um, I don't know if Dick's been looking at my notes or I was looking at his, but I liked it a lot. I thought the harmonies were uh, superb. The arrangements were great. Um, they've really been working good on it, and the music felt good. I felt great, and uh, it looks like the audience uh, was getting into it a lot, too. Uh, suitability for TV, I'd like to see more of them. I think the, the crowd would, too. Uh, for stage, I've got to give them a 9. For the material, I don't have any relatives in the band, but I give them a 10. <laughs> and uh, suitability for TV, sure, a 9. They look really good. Okay, thank you. The judges are certainly of one accord. We'll be right back with more of the Fame Game right after this. But hang on, we've got one more band. And here they are, Soldier. And now the smoke is cleared, we're going to raise just a little bit more. Our judges, Dick Bosey. Thanks, Dan. I think Soldier has a, a lot of potential. I gave them an 8 for their stage presentation. I enjoyed the uh, music and the vocals and the arrangement. I gave them a 9 for that. And as far as their potential for television, I gave them an 8. Thank you, Dick. Charlie O'Brien. 
Thanks, man. The crowd's getting tough here. <laughs> For stage presentation, uh, I thought they were a little unsure at times where they were going, although they, they had an idea of what they wanted to do. Uh, choice of material, I thought it suited them very well. They handled it really well. Good arrangement. I particularly liked their instrumentation. They played their instruments very well. Uh, suitability for TV, as Dick said, I think they're an up-and-coming up band. They need a little more work. I gave them an 8 for stage presentation, 8 for material, and also an 8 for suitability for TV. Thank you, Charlie. And lastly, Jerry Wolaschuk. I guess it's the first time that all judges won't agree. I thought they were young, dynamic, and just plain great. First of all, the stage presentation, they had excellent movement, uh, they looked very professional to me, they got me moving and I'm getting older, I gave them a 10 for that. In choice of, uh, I thought their vocals were terrific as well, I enjoyed that very much and uh, I gave them a, n a 9 for choice of material. And for presentation on television, to me they belong on television, I gave them a 10 for that. <laughs> all right, Jerry. Well, we've got all of the judges' scores now and we're just going to tally them up. And we'd like to thank our judges tonight, Dick Bosey, Charlie O'Brien, and Jerry Wallachek. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to thank our four contestant bands tonight, the Jets. The Punch. Meadows. And soldier. The winners of tonight's fame game will go on to Vancouver, where they will compete in the semifinals. We have the results, and uh, unfortunately, we have a tie, but it's between second and third. In fourth place, with 71 points, the Jets. A tie for second and third between Punch and Soldier, with 78 points each. And our winners tonight, with 83 points, Meadows. Thank you very much. This is Danny Box saying goodbye from Windsor, Ontario. We'll see you next week on The Fame Game. Gentlemen, please welcome your host tonight, Danny Bong. Good evening, and welcome to the Fame Game. This is our second show from Windsor, Ontario, and I'm your host, Danny Bong. The winner of tonight's show will go on to Vancouver to compete in the semifinals. And how do they win? As always, they will be judged on a scale from 1 to 10 in the following three categories. Presentation, choice of material, and potential for television. The last category is most important as the grand prize winner will go on to having their very own half-hour television special. Now let's meet the people who have the power. 
Last week, judges took off on the last stage out of town. Our guest adjudicators this week are John Laycock, Jeanette Zagger, and Kevin McGowan. <laughs> Enough of the judges. These are the people they'll be looking at. Our first band is one that's starting to make a name for itself in southern Ontario. And don't adjust your set because they really are all blondes. Here they are, Reflex. <laughs> adjudicator tonight is a newspaper columnist, film, and music critic for the Windsor Star. And I've often seen bands tense right up whenever he walks into the room. John Laycock. John? I get a little tense myself, Danny, but this band, as you said, are, are blonde, and they're certainly good looking, and there's lots of enthusiasm. I could feel the enthusiasm come across. So I gave them an eight for the stage presence. And they also were able to spread that enthusiasm around the members of the band during the song, so I gave them eight for their presentation in front of the cameras. Now, the song itself, I thought, was a little ordinary, but it did a good uh, job. It was well chosen to show off the talents of the band uh, in a two-and-a-half to three-minute spot. So I gave them a seven for the song. Thank you, John. Our next adjudicator, she's a voice teacher at the University of Windsor an opera singer, a jazz fan, and uh, tonight we sure hope she likes rock and roll. Jeanette Dagger. Jeanette? Well, right now I love it. Uh, <laughs> I thought the group was terrific. You're all blonde and you're all beautiful, and you worked very well together, and I really liked, I liked uh, the way everything clicked together very much. I also liked your song. Contrary to John, I got very excited by it. 
so I was very pleased with it. TV potential good. I would like to see, I would like to see a little more in the faces, just a little more theatrics in the faces to go with the excitement. Okay. I gave you for the presentation eight, uh, for the material nine, and for your TV potential seven. Thank you, Jeanette. And our last judge is the morning voice on CKWW here in Windsor, Kevin McGowan. Thanks, sir. Kevin? Yes, uh, without a doubt, as far as presentation goes, uh, they look like and behave like a good time rock and roll band, and uh, it certainly was enjoyable. As far as presentation goes, I gave you an eight. As far as the material, I like the song. It, uh, I, I have heard you before, and I've heard you do better songs, but I, I did like that. I think you've got a, uh, an excellent vocalist. I think it's a great point to the band. As far as the material goes, I gave you an eight, and as far as TV potential, no question about it, it's there. I think there's some uh, latent potential that could be uh, developed for sure, and I gave you an eight right there as well. We'll be right back with more music from the Fame Game. Our second band has a long playlist. They cover all the bases and please a lot of people here in Windsor. And if it's any mark of distinction, they've only been out of work for two weeks. Here they are, Stumbling Blind. <laughs> for last time, but this time let's start off with the, uh, the lady on our panel. Jeanette, what did you think? Well, I really liked the group. I thought they were great. I, hmm, I want a little more interaction. I want a little more cerebral energy. You know what I mean? Uh, more facial expression, too. Very, very nice. Lovely lead voice. Lovely. And uh, I liked your song very much. I thought it was a nice, tight, rhythmical sound. Um... I wanted to hear something again a little bigger in range. I don't know whether I'm talking about dynamic range or it was just something that was missing that I wanted more of. And you've got it. I know you've got it. Uh, TV potential, very good. Very good. I gave you an eight, a seven, and a seven. Thanks, Jeanette. And now we'll go back to radio. Kevin McGowan. 
Okay, as far as uh, presentation goes, obviously, I, I thought you guys were, were no strangers to uh, performing. I, I thought you knew what you were doing on stage, and I thought that uh, you conveyed that to me anyway. I gave you a nine as far as the presentation. As far as the material, uh, I like the song. I thought everything fit real, real snug. Uh, I gave you a nine on that as well. For uh, TV uh, potential, there's, there's lots there to be developed. I gave you an eight. Thank you. And now, last but not least, once again, uh, John Laycock. Now, John, you realize you don't have time to get this thing printed out. You've got to tell us right now. Okay, I'll talk fast. Uh, I've always thought Stumbling Bind was a good name for a band that worked in the bars a lot, but there's no stumbling here today. It's nice to see them out on a, on a proper stage, really projecting. I like the stage presence. I gave them an eight. Um, and I also liked the variety of personalities that I could feel in the band. So there was an eight uh, uh, for television potential. I feel that the variety helps on TV. And as to the song, I think it has a good commercial ring to it, and it was appropriate to the talents of the band, and I gave them an eight on the song as well. Our third band tonight is one of the best young bands to come out of Windsor in a long time. They've got a lot of drive. They've just released their first single. I even understand that it's selling well. Here they are, Hustler. This time, let's start off with Kevin McGowan. Kevin? Well, as far as presence for the uh, group goes, I, I think that you appear, you present yourselves like a, an up-and-coming commercial band, which I, I know you are. I think you handle yourselves uh, that way on stage. Uh, for presence, I gave you a nine. As far as the material, I think it was very, uh, a very basic sort of fun song. Uh, for that, I gave you an eight. As far as the, uh, the TV potential, with the, uh, the kind of presence that you do have and the kind of material that you, you've done here tonight and I've heard you do in the past, I think there's a, there's a real good potential there. I think a real good potential to build up a good following and on uh, TV potential, I give you a nine as well. Thank you, Kevin. 
And now back to our newspaper critic, John Laycock. John? Well, this certainly is a stylish looking band. And of course, for stage appearance, that matters a great deal. So I gave Husser an eight for stage presence. Uh, and that kind of appearance is bound to give great TV potential as well. I think it's still potential. It isn't t totally realized yet. So I gave them eight for the television potential. The song is in style, too. This is what's selling right now. I don't know about next week. So I think it's more style than substance in this song. And I gave them a seven for the song. Thank you, John. Optimistic. And Jeanette, uh, what do you have for us? Well, they're very pretty. Really, they, they're gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful, uh, <yes. laughs> beautiful, handsome group. You move well. I like it. I liked it very much. A very tight group. And uh, I like the song very much. I thought, again, also that it was uh, very much in style and what was in demand. Uh, TV potential, excellent. Absolutely excellent. I gave you a nine, an eight, and a nine. Thank you, Jeanette. We'll be right back with more music from... The band is so established, they've incorporated and branched out into all sorts of merchandisings. And people will say, if you're ever in Windsor, make a point to see Barrel House. to the judges. John Laycock? Windsor has a lot of very good singing voices, and some of the best of them are right here in Barrel House, I think. And 
the, the stage presentation here to me focused very well on the voices and on their skills, so I've, I've given them a nine for the stage presentation. Now that kind of stage presentation makes it a little harder on the television director because there isn't a lot of activity all of the time on stage, so the TV potential is there, but it takes a bit more work from everyone involved. I gave them an eight for the television potential. And on the choice of the song, it seemed to me that it was very well suited to the band and that the lyrics seemed to matter and fitted very well with the presentation. And I gave an eight for the choice of the song. Thank you, John. <laughs> and now, Jeanette Zagger. Yes, I thought the group was terrific. I really liked the presentation. Very tight, very nice. I liked the way you began and finished the song, lead singer. Uh, very good lead voice as well and TV potential excellent and I like the song it was very tight and for the first time hearing a song I got all the words I understood all of them and that's really something I'm very impressed by that so I gave you a nine a nine and an eight and last but not least Kevin McGowan Kevin well as far as presence goes uh, you guys certainly know what you're doing on stage it came across as uh, natural very confident as if you're in total control as far as presence goes I gave you a nine your material, I think, uh, was a good choice. Not necessarily the best song you've ever done, but it, uh, it gave us a good idea of what everybody in the group does do. And uh, because of that choice for material, I gave you a nine. And as far as TV potential, uh, because of the combination of the two, I think you obviously know what showbiz is all about, and I think that, too, gives you uh, a nine. Thank you, Kevin. High scores. Well, there are our scores. We'll get them tallied at our Fame Game computer, and we'll have the results very soon. Remember, the winner receives, in addition to a TV show, they would get 21 hours in a recording studio, maybe even front page challenge. We'd like to thank our contestants, and we'll take one last look at each of them. Reflex. Stumbling blind. We'd like to thank our judges, and here are their results. In fourth place with 71 points, Reflex. In third place with 72 points, Stumbling Blind. In second place with 75 points, Hustler. And our winners tonight, the band that's going on to Vancouver, Barrel House, with 78 points. Okay, here's a look at our winners doing their winning song one more time. Next week, the fame game will be coming to you from Calgary. I'm Danny Bonk, and good night from Windsor, Ontario. Listen to me, eating this up like a fly. Just